into whether there is a constitutional breakdown in the state. The biggest damage was done to the brand AP. No noteworthy companies came forward to invest in the state. The corrupt practices at all levels coupled with weaponization of instruments of governance across revenue earning departments for personal gains, sabotaging of checks and balances made several state institutions and private companies defunct and forced the existing enthusiastic investors and entrepreneurs to move out of Andhra Pradesh to other states. The uncertain environment which rocked the confidence of the people in general and investors in particular started showing impact on the state finances, leaving them in a mess. Fiscal prudence was abandoned. Expenditure was beyond means in spite of limited revenue growth and debt and liabilities rolled sharply. Financial management is manifested by diversion of funds, higher taxation despite high inflation, increase in power sector liabilities, neglect of capital expenditure which eventually resulted in slowing down of the economy. The enormous gap in resources was sought to be met repeatedly by borrowings through corporations and forcing them to spend on government expenditure and in the process 